All right, thanks. Monday night football, another primetime yes. matchup for the green and gold. Third in six weeks to start the season. There's one couple down the road there, Chiefs and I think the Vikings on Monday night. But I tell you what, these young guys on the roster, they're learning quickly what it's like to play at the highest level on the biggest stage. Right. We have some great young talent on our team, and they've been exposed to some primetime ball games, and those guys are stepping up to the plate. And let's see what they're going to do Monday night. All right. The Lions right behind Green Bay in the standings could be 4-0. I could mean, 2-1-1. One, and one, they, We've talked about this. First game of the season, you kind of got to throw away because mm -hmm. new game plans, new coordinators for mm -hmm. different squads. Weird things happen. The emotion of the season starting again. Right. It's So they tie Arizona. So you're right. wondering, oh, man, the same old Lions. But then they go and beat the Chargers, right. they went into Philly and won there against the Eagles. Right. And we know what how good they are. And then they probably should have beat the Chiefs. They're, they're a very good football team. What I like about the Detroit Lions, they're extremely balanced. Because one thing about playing the National Football League, you want to try to make teams one-dimensional. But if you do that, if you take away the run, they still can pass. If you take away the pass, they have a really, really good running game. So we got to make sure we shut them down completely. And we have the defense to do it. You know, carry on Johnson, too. He's a guy that probably nobody knew unless you were really a diehard college draft guru type. Uh, he can run the rock, and he runs hard. He plays extremely well. He's a great running back. Uh, we're going to see you know, running indoors and running outside is a two totally different uh, – uh, abilities and, or skill sets. Yep. We're going to see what how he does on that track in Lambeau on Monday night. Well, and we know what kind of arm Matthew Stafford has. Mm -hmm. He's got a rocket. He, and, and he's got some pretty good receivers. I think Marvin Jones Jr. and Kenny Galladay might be the most underrated tandem in the league. I mean, Galladay is like six foot four, big guy. Mm -hmm. Big catching radius. Uh, those two guys are very, very uh, good. One thing about Stafford, he comes out of uh, Georgia as the number one pick. So he has a lot of talent. He's been in the league probably over a decade now. So he's seen it all. Yeah. So we got to make sure we put pressure on him, make him feel uncomfortable like we did with Dak Prescott. Dak never felt comfortable in the pocket, even though he threw over 400 yards. But right. he didn't feel comfortable. We got to do that again Monday night. Not only pressures, but hits. Set, I mean, hits on the quarterback. And then the INTs. I tell you what, Green Bay's defense, they had seven interceptions all last season. They've got seven already in five games, yes. and they had, like you said, three of them. And, it, and it's not just the big-name guys like Jair Alexander mm -hmm. or even the old veteran Tremont Williams, Kevin mm -hmm. King, right. the new guy, Adrian. It's Chandon Sullivan and, and mm -hmm. other players are going out there making contributions. One thing uh, I remember about the Green Bay Packers in the 90s, they would get up and challenge you. Then there was a law, and then we came in with Charles Woodson, who would get up and challenge guys. Yep. The secondary that we have now will get up and challenge you. They're very, very aggressive. So if there's any tip passes, tip balls, they're landing in our hands. Well, and then on the other side of the football, we started to see that offense these last couple games really start to hum. Yeah, there's a lull here and there, but the ability to run the football in the red zone, Aaron Jones, career day, four touchdowns, uh, LaFleur, maybe was it a change in philosophy from that Eagles loss where on those last two drives they came up empty, threw the ball nine times, and ran it once? Right. They made a conscious effort to, nope, we're giving him the rock, and we're going to keep giving him, keep giving it, and yeah. keep giving it. I think we, uh, it was a learning process against the Eagles, but I think we have an offense that are, is really ready to burst at the seams. We have an outstanding, a dynamic running back in Aaron Jones, eight touchdowns. Right, leading the National Football League when it comes to running backs with touchdowns. We're very, very fortunate to have him in the green and gold. And our quarterback, just waiting for him to get it all going, get yep. that rhythm. Well, they even pick up Trey Carson. You know, obviously Jamal Williams was back at practice this past week, but who knows how long that'll take. And the ability to run the football behind an offensive line that has not only been healthy, they've been pretty darn good. Rodgers got knocked around early in the season, but as of late, They've, they've held their own. You look at Jenkins, the young man, the second rounder, I think, out of Michigan, uh, Mississippi State. Oh, that guy. Has, filled right in. That guy filled right in. He's making plays. Very, very aggressive. He's going to be a great Packer. Lane Taylor might not get his job back. He may not, but that's part of the National Football League. A lot of times you, you, you lose your job because of injuries. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, uh, he's not in there, and this young man gets, gets an opportunity to show his talents. Well, and we've heard the words accountability, leadership, all used a lot lately. Zadarius Smith and Preston Smith seem to be that one-two punch. 
And I, I still, they still do their interviews together. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of a funny couple dudes. It's, it's funny, but it's great to see. Right. Uh, because one thing about those guys, those guys are serious. They have a lot of fun. And the defense seems like the team is having fun and they like one another. Yep. Well, shouldn't, it shouldn't get any more fun than Monday night football at Lambeau Field against the Detroit Lions tomorrow evening. From there on out, pretty much Sunday, Sunday, Sunday until the bye week, and it'll be a regular schedule, but this, this will be fun. It's going to be special, and I'm going to be in the house. I'm going to look you up. All right. Well, I'll be here in the studio doing the highlights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if the game is close, no one will be watching right. me. So he's George. I'm Burke. Back to you.